Hi everyone, so today we are going to work on our fairy's dress, our little water fairy. And today we're going to be using the Louise Brand Ultra Color um, alcohol markers. So let me move those. And let's go ahead and let me show you the ones that we are going to be using today. So we're going to be using a light color here. And this is the B203. And then we will also be using the B205. And then I picked two purples that I really like. And we have a light B703. And we have a, a darker purple, a B705. I thought these would all blend really well together and look really good. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. If you have these colors, these are the ones we're going to use. So first, for all these little um, dots, we're going to do them a light purple. So we're going to go in with the B703 and we're just going to use the brush tip on that and we're just going to lightly tap it down on all the little dots. Let's start with the ones on her bodies. We're just tapping those in. See, that really does look actually very pretty. This is a very light touch. Smaller they are, the lighter the touch that I'm going to need. Let's skip the ones on her bodice. A few more here. All right, look how pretty that is. So now, what I was thinking is right here, she's got some some interesting flowers and things, and I was thinking of doing like the darker with the lighter purple here. I think that would look really pretty. So since we're still working with this lighter color, let me put that right here so you can see it, the 703, B703. I'm going to do the little dots in that lighter tone on the flowers on her waistband. Okay, now <clears throat> let's switch to the dark one and it is the B705. Make sure we're using the brush again. This B705. And the main part of the flower, we're gonna well actually do the center and the darker purple and then the flowery part down to it. And just use little touches because we don't want to mess up our little purple circles. It's more of a red base purple, but still very pretty. Okay, we've got that on. Now what I was thinking with these that go up like this, why don't Let's do them. Actually, all this outline, let's do it in the deeper purple, and then we'll switch to the lighter purple. We'll just follow the line. Try to have a steady hand, or like a loose hand, will help. Get down. And then we'll follow this one. Like this. And we'll get a little doohickey here. She has a mermaid, so I can say doohickey. And then the one right here. Back up. All right. I want it to be for the rest of this bodies. is to um, this middle one, we'll do it darker, and then we'll do the inner one lighter and the other one darker. And the bodies here. Just color it in, just use a light touch. Try to be relaxed. All right. 
And then I feel like this one here, so we're going to kind of go like every other one, will be the purple. So there it's just that little spot. Okay, now we're going to switch to that lighter purple again. And, of course, use the brush tip for B703. We're going to fill all these little ones in that lighter tone. Oh, yes, I do like that. And then this one here. This one over here. And then this one here. Right, and that's her little bodies. And so, let's start doing some of this lighter purple, light purple here. And we'll do the light purple in the very center ones. The outline will be the light purple there. Actually, let's just fill that in with the light purple. I do like that a little bit better. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm thinking for this main body's part, I think the dark purple would be too deep, so we're going to switch to the, the deep blue for that. And let's go over to the deep blue here. And actually, no, let's do this. Let's do the deep blue and the, the light blue. So first, we're going to get the deep blue, which is our R205. And we're going to start to color the bodies, just use like a light flicking motion. And just on the bottom half here, so when you get to the top, it will be much lighter. Okay. Right up there, and then let's get the lighter tone, which is our B203. And we're going to flick that one all the way up here so that we are trying to blend those two colors. Try to avoid the deeper. Also, oh, it almost looks like waves. Let's go over that again on both sides. Okay, and let's just bring it up here. Little flickering kind of motions. You want to avoid the purple dots. Let's come on over to the other side. Just kind of like you're racing it around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just do a little small circle here so that I can blend this bottom a little bit better. I'm going to do it one more time on each side. So I am, I'm actually very happy with that blend now. So let's go ahead and we will, st we will just go back and forth between the dark blue and the light blue. And we're just going to try to get it blended in really good. But I think this time, let's start, no, let's start with the dark blue. I, I do like starting with the darker, kind of like aquamarine blue. And let's start getting some of the dress now that we're done with the bodies. I'm going in there with the B205. And anywhere where it has a line or a crease, we're going to start there. Okay, do this little section here. And we're just going to try to work quickly so that it blends better. Get in there and blend it. Oh, I really love that. Okay. And we're just going to go back and forth like that. Whoops, not the chisel. The brush would be much better. Just 
Then I'm going to still blind spell that line. And let's do these ones here. Try not to follow too big of a line. The smaller the line, the quicker that it's going to blend for you. Because you don't want it to dry out, so that's a long one. And let's just keep working like this. And actually, let's just work a little quick and just use circular motions to get it blended in there nicely. But not so quick that we bleed over there. All right, it's looking good. I do like it. Let me just re go in here on these. I'm going to make them look a little bit more well blended. I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit longer. Oops, brush tip first. Okay, I think we'll go to that 15 and then I'll speed forward. Okay, so just relax and either do it with me or, or not. It's all good. Do this bigger section here. And be sure you have something protective on underneath to protect your work surface. I just got this um, board at the Dollar Tree. And it works really good. Go a little slower where it's a little bigger. Okay. And then carefully around the bubbles. Do you still want to color those purple? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Let's do this one. I'm just trying to follow these lines. And just try to work quickly so it blends a little bit better. But when you need to go slower, by all means, go a little bit slower. You can go over it again to make it blend even better. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here, and then I'm going to get working on it, and then I'll be back to show you even more. All right. All right, so let's do a little bit more. There's also another way that you can color it in for the two shades. We're going with 203. We're going to do this little spot here. As you can start with the lighter color, and try to avoid the white dots if you can, the little bubbles or purple bubbles. Okay. Then we're going with the deeper color. The B205 and we're just going to outline this and that is also another way that you can add that color okay now we did color over some of the dots but let's go ahead and get our light purple and we're going to get that color in and it's best to keep it straight up and down and we're just going to tap that color back in there. Okay. 
You don't have to, if it's a bigger dot, press down more. If it's a lesser dot, press down less. So we've got all those done, and I realized that I forgot to do this little section here. So we're going to go ahead and do it in this light purple. And that would look really pretty. All right. For her bodies. And then we are, since we've got all the little dots, all those little um, stringy ones, we're going to have them be the, the dark um, purple. So let's switch over to that, which is our um, R705. And these little streamers, we're just going to gently fold that line down and push up. So you're just barely using the very tip of your marker. So up and just use the very tip. Very tip. And then pull up when you need to. And let's do these ones. And the little swirly loo. And the other swirly loo. And let's just use little flicking motions upward here. And just really lightly tap the rest of that color in. So we're just barely, barely touching that paper. All right. Let's get this little swirly over here. All right. And let's, I was wondering, well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and add this, the purple here. Do the little swirly. And then work our way up. And then we'll do this one. Swirly and do this one here. Try not to press too hard, and then we'll do this one Start at the top. Go down, do the little swirly, fill it in. Let's Work on the top there, and then we'll just do this here too. Can't believe it's actually quiet at my house. It feels so nice down here. I meant to do this sooner, but we're doing it, and it's fun. What kind of magical creatures do you like to color? You like to color fairies or mermaids? Okay, let's get that little tip there. And I do like that. I'm thinking these little spots here. We'll, we'll go ahead and do them in the light purple. And then I think next time we'll do her gloves and the rest of the greenery in the border there. And there's the color we're going to use so on just these little things here. Okay, let's tap it in, the lighter purple, it's looking good, have the two more left, and I just wanted to say, everybody, thank you for, for watching this, and please leave a comment below if you wouldn't mind, um, what color do you think I should do these? the things in her hair and her gloves and then the border and we'll do that next time. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.
I hope that you enjoyed this. And actually, we're missing one little spot here. Nope, so we need the brush tip. This, this little spot right here. And then we'll go in with the deeper really quick. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching me color her bodies and her dress. If you did, please like, comment, or subscribe. And please do those things that make you feel safe. Let me skip this part so you can see the final, almost to the final results. And as always, you, yes you, are so very kind. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.